Okay, the uh, lab. Linux Digital Forensics. Here, get familiar with the Linux Digital Forensics and uh, follow the guide, this detailed guide. What is this guide? This guide is a comprehensive uh, practitioner's guide to Linux as a computer forensic platform. Not only it's a forensic platform, we also use it to analyze Linux images provided by the same website with appropriate digital forensic tools. All these tools, they are open source, so you can download from Ubuntu repository when you need any of them. So complete the following tasks and sections listed in this guide. This guide, I also saved a copy and uh, on this code container website, you can go inside to see this uh, copy. Here, totally, we have seven uh, tasks. These are the, the session number in that guide. This session, lab EWF and the EWF acquire. EWF is uh, evidence uh, witness format. So. We use, with this lab, we will be able to do digital forensics on those images in this EWF format. This section mounting multiple partition images with the low setup dash p. In our first several weeks, when we use low setup, we mount only just a single uh, partition. Here in this sec section, you will learn how to mount multiple partition images. For example, with one disk, we can mount all its uh, partitions at the same time. Antivirus auto scan the evidence with the Clam AV. Clam AV is uh, open source uh, antivirus software. And uh, in this section, how to manipulate and parse files. Here, through kit exercise, we wanted to uh, practice slow skid on Windows a lot and also on Linux. And this one is a review. You will see some new uh, stuff. Bulk extractor. It can be used to do comprehensive, comprehensive search, interesting evidences, for example, uh, particle number, zip code, email, and so on. Scopel. Scopel is a file copying tools used to call files from those damaged disks. So then here, from those images, uh, those images are in images from damaged disks, which means uh, in normal case, we cannot read those images. We cannot uh, read those disks. But with the Scorpio, you will see we still are able to recover some uh, data or files. Okay, now let's go, go to this uh, website. There's a Linux area, the law enforcement and forensic examiners. Here you can see it's uh, keep updating. On the left side, you see the guide and also the supplemental files. These are the images you will use in this uh, uh, guide. You don't need to download them right now because in that guide, there are detailed uh, steps show you how to download them with the command line. And also for further information, you can go through this uh, community resources, stack by information, and uh, YouTube channels. Uh, in this uh, guide, it uses Slackware Linux, but we will use Ubuntu Linux. Here you can see inside this guide, it uh, has a lot of uh, information, but uh, these informations we have covered uh, here and there in our first uh, several weeks. And also with those Linux commands, uh, text editor, you have learned in ITS 372. So now let's uh, open this uh, guide. So only those uh, interesting sections are extracted for our lab. For example, this is 
section for lab is WF, section 8.7.2. So you find that uh, 8.7.2. Here is a nine from this one. All these uh, previous sections, they are talk about uh, the basics of Linux, how do you use Linux? And you have learned those stuff in ITS 372. So from this one, configuring a forensic workstations, so you can see how to uh, create one, install one, as we have created one our Ubuntu in our first week. Here, Linux, uh, this evidence acquisition, so check this uh, section is 8.7.2. So this is 8.1, so find 8.7, 8.7 is, uh, let's see which one is 8.8, 8.7. So this is 8.7. For example, these image tools, you have uh, learned in our first uh, several weeks, DD command, DD, DC3, DD, DC, FL, DD, and here, we want to practice this one. You know DD Rescue. A image, there is another one you can check it. Here we, we will practice this one. EWF acquire. Provided as part of the lab EWF project, this tool is used to acquire expert witness format, not a evidence witness format. It's an expert witness format images. And we will cover it in some details later. For this uh, one, the first image tool was provided prim primary to create images in the advanced forensic format. So now you scroll down to find uh, 8.7.2. 8 Here you can see a uh, with some explanations, it will follow the commands and detailed demonstration of these commands. So you run this command, you'll see this the same output on your platform, you may have different output. So we come to this. Uh, those are about uh, DC3, DD or DD and those commands. So scroll down, come to this section, 8.7.2. So you can read this stuff for explanation about this library and these tools. Here, how do you install those tools? These are different I want to emphasize because this uh, author, he used a Slack Linux Slack Linux. So the inside Slack Linux, how do you install the software? You use this SBO install. But in our Ubuntu, we use apt install, right? So you open a terminal window. So do you can before you install it, you can use apt search that let EWF. Right, you will see uh, the EWF tool is installed automatic. Scroll up. And this is EWF tools also installed. Collection of tools for reading and writing in WF files. So, which means we will have some difference. You will just install this one. Install this EWF tools and install this uh, lab EWF tool. It will be installed automatically when you install the first one, this one, EWF tools. So which means you don't, we don't need to follow this uh, exactly. Because it uses uh, Slack Linux, we use uh, Ubuntu Linux. Once you install your have these tools, how do you check it? Uh, those tools are installed when you have to install this uh, EWF tools. We just type EWF, then press your tab key, right? EWF, press your tab key. 
then you will see this EWF require info wildfire export. Here we have eight uh, EWF here, the list of just five, which means we need the, uh, all these file EWF tools that are included. Then you can use the uh, command to follow this uh, manual. For example, acquire this uh, dev STP. How do you generate an EWF image? So this is uh, one we need to uh, install a small disk. Otherwise, it will not show up. For example, you use a uh, ls ew dvsd will start to see we have sda sda1 sda2 sda5 we don't have sdp sdp you need to install another disk drive here it just demonstrate you how to generate uh, ewf image from the second disk but we currently we don't have second disk right for example, if you in, uh, insert a USB, then you can use this uh, command to show whether you have that uh, DSP or that USB. Here, LS, SCSI. Now I don't have this tool. Uh, so do apt install LCS, uh, LS, SCSI. Then we run this command. Here you see the list out. My SDA, the hot drive, is a virtual we box hot drive and a DVD. That is the DVD we use it to install our Ubuntu. Right? We have a virtual DVD. So in order to create an image, you need to add one virtual disk. So since you all know how to add one virtual disk, you can do it by yourself. Here it just show instead of USB, you use this one to find it, then you use this one, use this EWF acquire to create an image for it. And you can see this one, it will generate an image for you. You need to put inside some information, image path and file name without an extension. It will add an extension for you automatically. You need to add some information about this image. This is uh, how do you acquire an uh, image in this format, EWF format. These are the output here. These are the input you put in, follow this command. Then it will go through the creation. So you see this uh, image will be generated. It will add an extension for you, dot E01. Then they will show the pro progress. We type a yes, continue a query with these values. Then they show the progress, we will see uh, the procedure. So I suggest you uh, create a small disk to practice, to practice, uh, practice this uh, image uh, uh, query. Here you see the image is split into several volumes, uh, into several species, uh, several pieces, right? Here, each piece is uh, no more than 512 uh, megabytes. These are the files, uh, images generated. So it's a good idea. Always create a folder before you do the lab. Yeah. And uh, you open a terminal window from that folder. This is a uh, lab eight, so create a folder, lab zero eight. Always work from here, create a terminal window, and work from there. Then all the files generated, it will be saved under your folder.
here, uh, you can type those uh, input in a single uh, line here, right? Then you can do the uh, uh, query right away. This is another way for you to create the image. For more information, use this man EWF query. Then you can use this EWF info to check the information of this acquired image. Here, then we just read those explanations. Then you can use the EWF verify to verify its integrity. Yeah. Verify success. Now, here is a, those images provided by this website. This is how you download them. So you can read this uh, explanation. Right. You can use this down, download to download it and use this shower sum to generate a shower. Yeah, there's a hash code. Then you can use this tor, TWF to extract this archive. You will see these files are inside that folder. Yeah, you see this E01020604. These are the pieces of that image. And here are detailed explanation about those uh, uh, switches. What does T mean? What does J mean? F mean? And so on. And CD into that folder. And uh, you use a EWF info to check the information of this image here. Verify its integrity. Export to the raw format here from this uh, this downloaded image you can use this EWF uh, export to generate a raw image here you check the raw image is generated see this dot raw okay that's the the section 8.7.2, how do we create an uh, image with EWF uh, query and how to verify you know, with the EWF, EWF verify and how to check the integrity with the EWF uh, verify and how to see the, its uh, information with the EWF info. So you can practice those uh, commands EWF what you see these uh, commands. So this is uh, task one. This part for task two, eight point twelve point seven. Uh, eight point twelve. It is a um, point seven. Mount, mounting evidence. Mounting multiple partition image with low setup dash p. Here, this one. 8.12.7. We have practiced the low setup a lot, but here you will see how to mount multiple images at the same time. Again, download a uh, provided image, gpt image.raw.gz, then uh, check the integrity. After that, uh, we can unzip this one to get this uh, raw image. Use this dash D decrypt, decompress. Then you can use low setup with these of switches. P R F this dash P option to probe for additional partitions and create partition nodes within a loop device. Here. In a loop zero, it will show the loop zero in all our computer. You make a different uh, loop device as we have tried before. Right? We have loop six, loop seven, and so on. Then you can 
use this uh, G disk to share this uh, loop zero. You know, we have practiced uh, a lot and see all this stuff. And we need to pay attention here. You see, we have loop zero P1, loop zero P2, loop zero P3. The three positions are mounted as well automatically. Uh, you, uh, we have this device, then you can mount that device to a folder. We have practiced before, so you know how to do it. And uh, you, uh, when you mount it, you can go inside this folder to see the contents of that partition. After you use it and mount it, so this is uh, this section does uh, practice how to mount multiple partitions as in a single command. So this is uh, task 8.12.7. And uh, this is uh, 8.13.1 antivirus. I think it's a uh, point uh, here, basic analysis, 13.1, right? Here, 13.1. And uh, virus scanning the evidence with CLAM AV. So you get this by yourself. Here, CLAM AV. Again, in Slack, where I either use this uh, SBO install, but in uh, Ubuntu, we use apt install. There are two tools flash, CLAM, CLAM scan. So you just type this command to see whether it's installed. If not installed, uh, one will prompt you how to install it, right? Crash, clan. You, you just run this uh, command to install it. Copy it, paste it, and then Okay, this is how to install Crash, clan. Then you can use this, uh, uh, read this explanation to see how to use it. With this uh, image you downloaded in previous uh, sections. Mount it here, the command how to mount was a practice, right? Use this command, then use this uh, Clam scan to scan the files here. Scan this uh, the files mounted under the folder. Here we mount the partition under this folder. If there is no such folder, you need to create a, a folder by yourself. Certainly, it's not there is no such folder. Read this uh, menu carefully. LS mount. Right, it's empty, no folder there. So you need to create a folder uh, analysis over there. You want to know how to create a folder. You need a sudo because the mount uh, I wish to create a make there a mount analysis. Then it's created a new check it is over there, analysis, and you can run this command. After that, you run this uh, command to scan that folder to see any virus. Class scan. Here, I didn't specify any uh, uh, folder. You can use uh, dash help to have a look to see how to use this uh, and I was to scan files and photos and so on. Yeah. You can see the uh, actually actively maintained open source and virus, right? 2020. Okay, let me go through all this stuff. This is a section. Then uh, section 9.1. 
manipulating and porting files and see any challenges over there. Nine point one manipulating and parsing files. So here, this uh, author demonstrated on uh, his uh, home folder. So you you need to put everything under your lab folder. Create the folders, download the image. Now here is the log files. How to analyze the log files? This is parsing files and the log files. Let's see the log store visitor data. Let's say download. Check integrity, unzip. Here you see there are some typos. There is no empty space. Here, tzvf, you need an empty space. After that, F. So you should be able to notice those typos by yourself. Then extract the loggers. Check the message. Here, use the cat command. We have used cat command and this command a lot, right? so you know how to do it. This is a tag command. Do we have a tag command? If you don't have, you just install it. You type a tag. It looks like we have a tag command. You can reach tag. You see it's installed. Okay, follow this uh, command to see whether you can get a uh, similar output. Here, walk, use walk to extract the uh, useful information. This section practices how to parse files with the Linux commands. These are the text files how to post text files. Well, it didn't uh, show post other files, but all text files. Okay, this is how to uh, manipulate, uh, manipulating, how to manipulate and post text files. Now, sluice kit exercise. Section 10.3. This section is uh, nice, so 10.3 I think is come here. So let's get exercise 10.3. So you go through this, uh, this one. Download the image, check the integrity. Then Practice this uh, exercise here. You need to practice exercise 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, and 3, each 6%. Uh, this is 1A for EXT2. We know EXT2 is a file system on Linux. So you will see how to do it. If a state, we have practiced uh, a lot, but on Windows here, you see how to apply them on Linux. FLS to find the files. Please read those uh, description carefully. And find a state. A cat. Okay, you find this. Uh, find an image with the actually use a cat extract an image from that extract a picture from that disk image. And this, uh, the second one is the 1B, which means this one ext4. The popular file system of Linux will be used today. So ext4, 1B, load that up. 
here if for some images it's uh, you didn't download you need to come here to download those uh, images it does practice similar commands FLS, I state I can't extract file okay this is a uh, 1B, 2A, 2B, and 3. This is 2A. For 2A, you see, uh, okay, I didn't see any uh, challenging stuff. to be here, physical stream search and uh, allocation status, again, okay, ext4. You go through uh, these commands, you see all these commands we have practiced before. DD command, and there's a uh, three, and uh, allocated extraction and uh, examination, this section, three. For this one, the BLK command provided by Sloth Kit. Let us see all these uh, command uh, we have practiced. So it's just a review, use them on Linux system, on Linux uh, file system. And I state, I can't, okay. Uh, Windows, NTFS, we want to practice. So for this Linux forensics, we only practice uh, digital forensics on Linux images. Then uh, 10.4, bulk extractor. Here's 10.4, bulk extractor. And we can check your we in, installed bulk extractor in our first week, right? You see this bulk extract. Help, you see uh, it does not support uh, this help. A single help. So it looks like it's a, it's a help is not a, use this popular syntax. So please uh, read it. Uh, description and this is for the complete manual user manual you can come to this place to find it and we have a GUI tool be viewer you can use this be viewer to to use the GUI version of bulk extract here again you need to use sudo apt install bulk extract but we already installed it in our first week Let's see my B viewer, whether it's a B E B viewer. So it uh, does not find my B viewer. You know, our B viewer is installed. I put a download bulk extract here, right? And B viewer is under this folder. B viewer. So I need to find my B viewer. It's a Java program, Java GUI. Yeah, this is a B viewer. Dot job. How do you run it? Check our first uh, lab. You need to switch your JDK environment, then run it. So since we wanted to install, we don't need this uh, that uh, installation. Okay, the help is used this way, just a single dash H. You can find the detailed uh, help, follow this manual. The options you need here, this image, 
this image you download in previous uh, sections, you see how to find some keywords, uranium dash two three file. Then it will run and search through this image to show you the result. This is the output. And see all threads completed. And where is the result? Go check this uh, description. It will put inside BLK out. That will call out you specified here. The output folder to contains to contains so the searching result. You can search various result. Here inside this uh, output, you see there are zip and zip called report, find a histogram, find a lot. So what are these files? Just go through. Because they're all text files, you can use any command like this cat to see its contents or use a text editor. Here, where this is uranium-323 file. Follow this command to find it. So this is a bulk extract. Here you see uh, this result. This is a very detailed manual. So you, I don't think you have a difficulty to follow this manual. Let's see all the result generated by this bulk extract using command line. In this uh, manual, it uh, didn't demonstrate the GUI bulk extract, so you don't need uh, that GUI bulk extract on the command version of bulk extract. The last one is a file carving tool, score pair, score pair 10.5.1. And point of file, point of one, score pair. We use apt to install it. Yeah, score pair. So we also use this SBO install to install it. We, you can type score pair, press enter. So here you know how to install that score pair. Once it's installed, you can follow this uh, follow this manual. Configure this uh, score pair.conf here. The configuration file may be in different folder other than this this uh, distribution. Yeah, let's check it. Where is the folder of our score pair? Here you see our score pair 1.6. Here is score pair 2.0. We can have whether it's uh, at that place. Doc. Now you see uh, this is doc score pair. Score pair and this doc score pair, we, we don't have a score pair dot. Okay, the copy from there, but we didn't. Final score pair here, right? We didn't find a score pair dot conf and this folder. So on our want to where it is. Where is our score pair dot conf? By default, it's usually under this etc folder. Here you see this is score pair dot conf. You need to copy the score pair.com from this folder. In this uh, configuration file, you specify uh, what types of images you want to call. So read this uh, manual carefully. To uncomment those lines, define the file signatures headers, footers, and signatures. Then you use this image, April 3. You will, here you see that April 3 image. Then follow this manual 
I think uh, with uh, slow speed tools, then use this score pair to call the images out of, out of the image. Here you will see the procedure. You will find how many files. This one, zip file called one files, JPEG file with this kind of header called six files. Then you need to show inside the output, find those images in the text files. This is a, a record. These are the files called. This is just similar to a log file. This folder you specify in the command line. Here you can check this file, right? It's the, just like a log file. As it said, provides a log with the content of this uh, scorepair.conf and the program output. For the image viewer, in this one, you can check whether it's right. G check. So you install this GCHA, then use it to build the images. Certainly you can use the, the this image viewer, this uh, I or mate image viewer. Then you don't need to install another image viewer. With this image view. Okay, now this uh, new image view is installed. You can use uh, either of them to see the call of the image. Here it use a VI. I suggest you use just a, a GUI text editor, for example, Plumer. This is a command line text editor. It's hard to use. Okay, that 